What's up everybody, Reinstein here, and today we're playing Kerbal Space Program Career Mode 1.1.2. Today we're also going to do something pretty damn cool, and that's build another research station, but this time it's going to be in a solar orbit. And the reason for that is, well, let me just show you. If I move over to the contracts uh, building, Mission Control, take a look at this contract. It's absolutely immense. I'm going to get 701,557 for completing this rocket. That is an absolutely exorbitant amount and will put me over 2.5 million funds for this particular career mode playthrough. So I'm pretty damn excited to be launching this. Uh, let me just talk you through the rockets. So the main thing I want to show you is inside here. Now what I've done is I've used the com Mark 1, 2 command pod on the top. Um, actually, let me bring up the contract stipulations. So what they want me to do is build a orbital station that's obviously in orbit of the sun, but it needs to have an antenna, a docking port, and can generate power. Now, the antenna is right at the top. The docking ports are on the side here, so I can expand it in future. And um, generating power comes from four, 16 solar panels. Now, oh, inside this service bay, is I think uh, two, four, eight hundred uh, electric charge come from all these batteries here. We've got two mystery goo units, the science junior, and a thermometer and a barometer. Now that's all the science I can actually aim for right now. Then we need to think about who's actually going to pilot this thing and be on board. So I've hired another scientist, that's Derla Kerman. He's going to be in the MPL, uh, the Mobile Processing Lab. And then we've got Valentina Kerman, who's going to pilot it, because I want Jeb back at base. So let's go and launch this thing into our solar orbit. I can't quite remember if there's much science to be gathered um, while up there in solar orbit. But there should be some science which will enable me to um, process the data and get a whole another load of science data. Now, as you remember, we've already got... Oh dear, this is open. <laughs> Let's close our service bay. That's going to create all sorts of drag and friction during our ascent. Yeah, we've already got our little um, orbital research units. We've got one in our polar orbit and one in an equatorial orbit. So this will be like the third, the third research unit that we've got. So we've got three scientists on three different ships. It might be more efficient to have them all on one ship. I don't know. But we're still waiting for the transfer window to Duna. So I thought this would be pretty epic. And considering the funds I'm going to get, it would be silly of me not to do it, I think. Don't you think? I mean, 700,000 Kerbal credits is a, quite frankly, ludicrous amount. So this shouldn't take too long. And should, fingers crossed, provide me with plenty of data to analyse. Now, let me just close my Kerbal alarm clock. And we'll continue our gravity burn. Now, you can see, because of those solid fuel boosters, we're already reaching a massive apoapsis of 49,000 meters. So it's it's not an ideal ascent profile um, to get into orbit. But unfortunately, it's the best we could do with the technology we have available, at least that I can figure out anyway. Uh, Dola's looking particularly concerned. Why are you looking so concerned, young man? You looks all right in there. Or maybe that's the wrong building. Let's get some overlays going so we can see inside I love the way he's just pinned to the side of the MPL I mean yeah that is Derla isn't it so pinned to the side of the MPL and uh, yeah it's like a fairground ride or something you know those rides that create huge centrifugal force and they pin you to the side and you spin around and some pe sometimes people just puke everywhere that's what that guy, guy looks like if I start pressing Q and E and spinning this thing around then it will really be like it but we better not do that <laughs> poor old Derla he looks a bit happier now don't worry, mate, you're going to be fine. You're just going to be in orbit of the sun for X amount of time. I've no idea how long. <laughs> Valentina looks cool as a cucumber. The other cool thing I thought I would add to my rocket, actually, is these lights. Because I think it would be helpful for, like, when they're moving around on the outside, doing maintenance tasks and stuff like that. Just to, you know, have a little bit of light on the situation. Perhaps uh, something malfunctions when they're on the dark side of... Uh, or they're shaded from the sun, shall we say, and they can't see what they're doing. Lights would help, wouldn't they? I think they would. Now, we're running out of liquid fuel at a big amount here. We've got 950 electric charge. That's because the M1-2 uh, command pod comes with its own electric charge of 150, which is pretty damn sweet. Now, we're nearly at 
and orbital velocity. Remember orbital velocity is sort of 22, 2300 meters per second. And you want to be at that speed as you reach around 70,000 meters, depending on what orbital uh, height or orbital altitude you're, you're looking for. I'm always looking for about 70,000. That's about, that's about where you've escaped, um, uh, escaped curving, essentially. Let's see how that looks now. So we've got an apoapsis, 76,000. We've got a periapsis of 15,000. I think I'll just keep burning a little while longer. And what's my periapsis now? So 37,000 meters. That's fine, actually, because you know what? Where we are in the solar system, I want to be launching my rockets so it goes round that way. So basically, if I create a maneuver node about there at our apoapsis, drag this little prograde marker out a little bit, that will launch us in to the orbit that we want, essentially. I think that should be fine. That requires a delta V change of 1011, but if you look over on the right hand side at the flight engineer readouts, we actually have um, 1819, so it should be enough to fulfill this contract. If it isn't, then I'm going to panic and hide and run away and, yeah, just freak out a little bit. But, yeah, like I say, it should be fine. So we're nearly at 70,000 meters now. Let's take a little look at how things are going out there on the ship. They all look quite happy, I think, as happy as they can be, knowing that they're going to be away from Kerbin for, like I say, X number of years, 20 years, 30 years. Who cares? They're Kerbals. They love it out here. Oh, we run out of fuel on that section. Jettison that part, leaving some lovely space debris, which uh, someone will, will no doubt collide with in the future. <laughs> At least that's what I think is going to happen in real life anyway. Right, time to accelerate into our escape trajectory from Kerbin. Now, escaping from Kerbin takes a hell of a lot of uh, velocity. You can see we're approaching 3,000 meters per second and some. We need even more than that. About 3,300, 3,200 maybe is the escape velocity. Um, and here we go. We're nearly there. Just had a little encounter with the moon there. Boom! We are escaped. I'm not going to use up any more fuel because that will uh, throw things into jeopardy if I need to rendezvous it with another craft at another time. Right, let's leave that to escape. And voila! We are now in orbit of the sun which is perfect and there you can see we've met our contract stipulations brilliant so now that's 700,000 richer that I am look at all this science we can actually get crew reports EVA reports etc etc so now comes the exciting stuff let's rotate my rocket so we can see what's going on face it towards the sun and get all the benefits of the electricity my solar panels will collect uh, there we go so Let's have a little look in here. We can do a temperature log, which if we process will give us 325 science in a year and 314 days, which is a long, long time, but never mind. Let's observe some mystery goo too. Another 405 science. Bloody hell, we're going to be rich. This will unlock the whole blooming uh, research tree pretty much. Well, I don't know if it will go that far, but it will certainly aid our efforts quite dramatically now what else we've got mystery goo oh yes we need to use our science junior so let's observe that uh, if we send that back we get 162.5 science but i'm actually gonna process that in the lab and material study mystery goo we've done that eva report we haven't done so let's eva valentina there you go go eva report so we keep that Actually, no, I can just send that right back. Let's uh, board. And then right click here. Review stored data. We'll send that. No, we can process it. Brilliant. I will process it then. And a crew report also. So that's another 205 science. So this is going to be by far my best uh, science research unit in, you know, by a long way. Let me just take a little look actually at how much electricity. So no one's started researching. That's good. Let's now start our research and that's going to generate 0 0.7466 science per day. So what are we looking at? 100 days will give us 74 science. I think that's a, that's a lot more efficient than the other 
the other ones, isn't it? Let's test our lights, make sure everything's working. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. Let's even do a little spacewalk. Let's get Valentina out here again. We're just coming out to test the lights, see if I can see me while I'm flying around. There you go, Valentina. There we go. Look at that. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. Beaming on her face. I, I bet she's loving the fluorescent light bulbs. That's one thing you'd miss when you're in space, isn't it? The fluorescent light bulbs. Definitely. All right, let's dock her or let's uh, get her back in the craft. Where is it? Where's the... There it is. The little bit she needs to get in. There you go, girl. Grab on. That's it. Plop yourself back in there. And now we can easily just leave that out here. Now, I might just collect some more data and send it back. Uh, but for now, that is my video over. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, guys. Please continue to share my videos, subscribe, send me any thoughts you've got. And uh, please join me for the next one very soon. Check my channel header for the uh, schedule. Take care. See you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.